Hi Stamping Friends, it's Terry Gaines. In my previous video and blog post, I shared the details of these five cards that I created using the Gorgeous Leaves Bundle and the Welcoming Woods Stamp Set. The end of that video, I had a bonus card, which was this card. So in this video, I wanna share how I stamped the images for this card. And at the end of this video, I have five bonus cards I wanna share with you. So as I mentioned, I I'm using the Welcoming Wood Stamp Set. So I'm gonna use this tree image, which is all one stamp and one of the sentiments. I'm not going to use these leaves, that that's all one stamp. I'm going to use the stamp that's in the Gorgeous Leaves stamp set, which is one stamp that has these three. You could use these and it's gonna turn out slightly different, but it would work. But I like that these three are different style leaves, three different leaves in the same image. So to start out, you're gonna have your piece of cardstock and this can be any size that you would like. I actually have cut this to be, I believe it is three and three quarters by um, five inches. So we've got that cut and I'm going to stamp the tree images in crumb cake for the color choice on the um, for the trees and our ink pads are raised so you just want to go across and tap tap to get your good coverage and I want to make sure that all tree images go off the top of the piece of paper. So I'm going to watch that shortest one on the side to make sure that goes off the top. Stamp that. They don't reach the bottom and that's perfect for this stamp or for this project. Tap it again because I need to repeat it so I can get the image to go all the way across the paper. So I will clean that stamp later so I'll just set that aside. So the first the leaf color I'm going to use is I'm going to go ahead and use crumb cake. And what I'm going to do is stamp and then just re-stamp without um, re-inking. I just want to build a pile of different color leaves down at the bottom of the tree base. So I'm just going to start out with the crumb cake and stamp a few. Clean off the stamp with the Stampin' Chamois. The next color I'm going to use is Soft Suede. And that one is going to also just be on the bottom. So I'm going to stamp. And I do want to rotate the stamp a little bit so I can get different orientations of the leaves. And I'm just building a pile of fall leaves. So I'm going to use four different colors. And the next color I'm going to use is Cinnamon Cider. Now this is also a color that I've chosen to have the leaves falling. So what I'm going to do is stamp those first. So I'm going to re-ink my stamp and I'm rotating it different orientations so I don't have a consistent pattern of how they're falling. So I'm going to just leave, I'll put one weight right over there. Now I'm going to add to the pile on the ground. And as I, again, I'm going to stamp and then re-stamp just to, what I'm trying to do is fill in the white space down there. And we will say that is good. So the last color I'm going to use is Bumblebee. And there is no wrong way to do this. And you can choose different colors. And now what I'm gonna do is have a few of these falling. And again, rotate the stamp a little bit so they're not all consistently falling in the same fashion. And now I'm just going to stamp lots of bumblebee, just all direct solid colors here. And as I mentioned, you can um, use different colors, but that's how I chose to do mine. So the stamping part is done. So I'm going to make this a super simple card. I'm going to layer it onto um, cinnamon cider for my card layering base. So I'm just going to use my stamp and seal, apply some adhesive, go across here 
and my previous card that I shared I used very vanilla for this one I used basic white so you can choose either for your card for your stamping I'm going to layer this on to whisper white but before I do that I'm going to take some of the baker's twine from our baker twine packet of five different colors and I'm going to put that across around the card and center that and then I'm going to tie a bow let's tie it over on this side let's see I'm going to be all thumbs doing it it's kind of backwards for me here and I'm going to quick tie a, I'm going to tie a knot first with Baker's twine I usually tie a knot to secure it and then I'll tie the bow and I'm actually putting it on the opposite side that I normally would put it but that's okay there's no wrong way to do this and I'm going to add a sentiment to it so goodness my videos are unedited and most of them contain bloopers and I am trying not to cut the twine before I um, finish the bow just so I don't um, waste too much so I've got that twine added for that and now I'm going to do the sentiment so the sentiment I'm going to stamp is from the stamp set I already stamped it and did a lot of prep work and I used the um, label lovely pick a punch I believe it's called and I stamped the image and I placed it in and cut out both sides now I've this was three quarters for the white now I've got a one inch strip for the cinnamon cider I've already punched this side before I layered it but what I want to show you is how I um, punch it when I can't quite reach in I take another strip that is the same size and before I actually do that I trim this edge off looking at how much space do I want on my punch then an eighth of an inch additional now I'm going to extend this by taking a, another one inch strip and taking little pieces of a post-it note and holding it onto this one inch strip which gives me a longer piece that allows me to reach in and get it further down in my punch and if if you've tried this in the past you'll understand what I mean when it's really short you can't get it in there it's not long enough so I just created an extra arm with the same width paper and some post-it notes and now I can attach this with some dimensionals and I forgot to bring my take your pick tool over here so I'll just take these off with my fingers here and I'm going to add this right here so I think the sentiment portion took me longer than the stamping portion for this project but that's how I stamped these and as I mentioned I have bonus projects to share with you I have five additional cards that I've created using that concept all of them are with cinnamon cider they are also done with some layering with some 3d embossing folders this is the bark folder and then I took a sponge dauber and added some cinnamon cider ink on there and have several layers that I sponge cinnamon cider just to get that rustic look so I have that design I have this design I have this one this one and this one so I actually created these five off of my card sketch that I created that is duplicating the samples that are on page 112 of the Stampin' Up! 2021-2022 annual catalog there are some beautiful samples on that page I created a card sketch giving you the layer dimensions and that's how I duplicated these cards using these different layer dimensions on this flyer look in the comments section of my YouTube video for a direct link to the blog post where you can download this flyer along with the other nine for the different suites in Stampin' Up's annual catalog so these are my five bonus projects and all the stamping is done just like I showed you on this card but you can create this um, 
all these different options for your projects. I hope you found this video helpful. If you, as I mentioned, if you found me via YouTube, look in the comment section for a direct link to my blog post to download the PDF and where there will be pictures of these card samples. If you would like to order Stampin' Up! product and don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to have you contact me or place an order on my online store. If you use my host code, I have thank you gifts to send you, additional thank you gifts. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed creating this project with me. Take care and happy creating.